another man of the void and this time he brought his puppies to counter him pick someone like morgana because it'll be quite hard for him to take down her spell shield on whoever she puts it sendra who has the range to get his little passive shield down and also the ability to pick up his little critters and use them against him and galio with his massive wave clear potential and also the fact that he can stack mr and still be useful make him another great counter Annie, if she's smart enough to trigger his passive with an auto before fully engaging lux who has a clear range advantage and will root him without him being able to do much about it and brand who won't ever allow for his passive to be up make other good counters as well malzahar's passive grants him a shield periodically after taking no damage for a while that will deny cc from the first enemy ability that hits him and also reduces its damage by 90 percent his q has quite the long range and will deal damage to enemies it hits while also silencing enemies his w summons up to three little voidlings that will target the closest enemy unless someone is being targeted by malefic visions his e will curse an enemy and deal damage over four seconds if the target dies within this time it'll swap to the closest enemy and restart the timer also restoring some of malzahar's missing mana his ultimate is a point click insta stun that suppresses the enemy champion it hits for 2.5 seconds in lane he'll almost definitely try to push you to your tower and roam you need to counter push him especially since he'll have a really hard time farming under tower in terms of spells he'll take either heal or teleport since once again he gets very little value from ignite with malefic visions and his ultimate already in place you on the other hand can take ignite to counter his heal or teleport if you want to push and not get pushed as for power spikes he gets quite strong in the mid game whenever he can choose a squishy target and him and his team can take him down really quickly without much a mess level 3 allows him to push insanely well and 6 should make you start fearing ganks because of his ultimate Leandris together with Rileys will make his malefic visions hurt for a ton. Whenever his passive is up, that's quite the power spike for him as well. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, QSS for ADEs is a must to get out of his ultimate. Remember that his malefic visions pass on from dying targets, so get away from dying minions, and keep in mind that he has no escapes, so lock him down with CC and be done with him. Ultimately, have fun doing it.